The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Plus, it looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen if that's a good thing. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether is out. Am I supposed to be saying that? Sheriff Bach? Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle... Agent Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. Yes, we do. We do? Oh, yes. It's gonna be a while before we can get this factory running again. But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in a right pickle. Well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident then. That's what I'd do if I was a big, important FBI boy. What was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. What happened? There was an explosion. What? Oh, yeah. A big explosion. And the foreman just never came home. What happened to the foreman? My notes don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is there, uh, is there a body? Nope, he's just gone. Isaac Dabner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. What did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure out how to get past this lock. Well, that's because it's missing a piece. I can see that just by looking at it. So it is. I guess that's why you make the big bucks, right? That's right, sir. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Here's what I know.
If there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Hmm. Good point. Maybe they grew back. Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? I have some files related to the case that you might be able to help me with. Oh, okay, but I really think... Agent Tethers, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. We'll meet you at the Moose Ear in a bit. Interesting. Out at the eraser factory. The doors to the factory are very locked. Some sort of custom-built contraption has got this place locked up tighter than Fort Knox. The device seems damaged, though. It seems to be missing a piece. Excuse me, I see you're working on your sign. Is it safe for me to go into the diner? Excuse me. Gotta fix the sign. Something wrong with your sign? Uh, I said, is there something wrong with... You a cop? I ain't got time for cops. I'm not a cop. Look, I gotta get this sign fixed before it gets dark. I don't want to be out here after dark, if you know what I mean. I don't, actually. What do you mean by that? It's just a fuse, but I can't remember which one it is. Not with all the whispers in my head. What? Whispers? Get the fuse for me. I'm getting cold out here. That should do it. Hey, what do you know? This ought to keep the little buggers away. Little what? Well, I gotta finish getting this sign now. See you later. Well, we'll see. I don't suppose you know anything about the eraser factory accident? Don't suppose I do. 
Did you know Isaac Davner? Not much. Heard he had some kind of accident. Feel bad for his wife, Glory. Such a pretty girl. I should really talk to her. Do you know where I can find her? Yes, I do. So, where can I find her? Inside. Goodbye. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, miss? Waitress lady? Welcome to the Moosier Diner. I'll be right with you. Can I help you with that? You go delicious thanks so uh what's good here i don't know it's all fine oh okay what's your name glory davner oh haha <laughs> so i'm nelson are you feeling okay yes no i'm just thinking about my husband what's wrong with your husband ma'am is he okay he will be well, I'm with the FBI's Department of Puzzles Research. I need to ask you a few questions. An accident at the Eraser Factory caused it to shut down. Do you know anything about that? Of course I do. What have you heard? Uh, well, nothing really. I mean, just that it was an accident like everyone says. The factory foreman. Isaac Davner. He was your husband? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's not much in my files about him. That's okay. He's a great man. I'm so proud of him. For? Just so proud. Oh, okay. The repairman outside seems a bit odd. Anything I should know about him? Well, I think he's got a bit of a crush on me, but he's harmless. Could he have hurt your husband to get to you? <laughs> oh no, he wouldn't hurt a fly. 
He even avoids stepping on rocks so he won't accidentally hurt any critters living below. I wish people wouldn't tease him for that, Daryl. Has the factory closure affected business? Yeah. People tend to hang around here longer now that they aren't going to work. Normally, that'd be a good thing, but I've been pretty distracted. I see that. Maybe I can help.
wasn't so tough. Yeah, I guess not. Could I have a bit more of your time, ma'am? Sure. <laughs> 